in the name of all that is holy. Would you look at Karen Smith's gym clothes? Of course, all the plastics are in the same gym class. Who are the plastics? They're teen royalty. If North Shore was Us Weekly, they would always be on the cover. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. Damien sent extra in English last year. She asked me how to spell orange. <laughs> that little one? That's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad invented toaster strudel. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Hey, hey, um, what's happening? And evil takes a human form in Regina George. Well, I'll be fooled, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more than that. She's the queen bee, the star. Those other two are just her little workers. Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair's insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Japan. Her favorite movie is Varsity Blues. One time she met John Stamos on a plane. And he told her she was pretty. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Regina seems sweet. Regina George is not sweet. She's a scum-sucking road whore. She ruined my life. By eighth period, I was so happy to get to math class. I mean, I'm good at math. I understand math. Nothing in math class could mess me up. Hey, do you have a pencil I can borrow? I've only had one other crush in my life. His name was Nifume, and we were five. Me, me, and my panda baby. Kuroka. It didn't work out. But this one hit me like a big yellow school bus. Hello? I know your secret. Oh, God, busted. Just start apologizing and crying. No, play it cool. Secret? What are you saying about? Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I could talk to him for you if you want. Really? You would do that? I mean, nothing embarrassing, though, right? Oh, no, trust me. I know exactly how to play it. But wait, aren't you so mad at Gretchen for telling me? No. Because if you are, you can tell me. It was a really bitchy thing for her to do. Yeah, it was pretty bitchy, but uh, I'm not mad. I mean, I guess she just likes the attention. See, Gretch, I told you she's not mad at you. I can't believe you think I like attention. Okay, love ya. See you tomorrow. <sighs> this was it. Regina said she would talk to Aaron for me, and now she was. How could Janice hate Regina? She was such a good... <gasps> what? so sexy pushback. Katie, will you please tell him his hair looks sexy pushback? Regina was dangling Aaron in front of me on purpose. I knew how this would be settled in the animal world. <laughs> but this was girl world. Your hair looks sexy pushback. Let me tell you something about Janice Ian. We were best friends in middle school. I know, right? It's so embarrassing. I don't even, whatever. So then in eighth grade, I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who was totally gorgeous, but then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was like weirdly jealous of him. Like if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat and be happy. She doesn't even go here. How's your stomach now? It's fine. Do you feel nauseous at all? No. Have you been drinking? No. <laughs> okay. Cool.